Good morning, Women Wildcats. It is time for our daily announcements. We are from Mr. Johnson, seventh grade homeroom. Today is Monday, March 27th. Skylar, what are we having for lunch today? Today for lunch, we're having beef chili or vegetarian bean chili and cheddar cheese, seasoned sweet potato fries, sweet pea pods, and grape tomatoes, cornbread loaf, mar oh my God. Margarine, margarine, I don't know, sour cream, ranch dressing, fresh pineapple chunks, fresh fruit bowl, and choice of milk. And for tomorrow, we're having fajita chicken with tortilla chips, whole grain cinnamon churro crackers, or mini cheese quesadillas, um, and refried beans with shredded cheddar cheese, salsa cut fresh fruit bowl, orange juice, and a choice of milk. Um, Eli, what can we expect with the weather today and tomorrow? Today, we can expect a low of 28 degrees and a high of 37 degrees. And tomorrow, we will be expecting a low of 28 degrees and a high of 41 degrees. So it'll be a bit more warmer. Um, it look, we have a bel belated birthday, which is Chris Christopher Walker. So um, happy late birthday. And now some announcements from our principal, Ms. Clemens. Good morning, everyone. I think our announcers forgot that today is Monday. So we need to do the Pledge of Allegiance. So please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. So speaking of, we have a lot going on this last week before spring break. We got to finish our forward exam testing, which you again, you guys have been doing a phenomenal job of doing that. And since you've been coming to school for testing, do you know what? We have four days above 90%. Four, I forgot to announce that last week. Four days, we need one more day of 90% and we can have hats and hoodies. Finally, it is finally here. So I think testing has been our savior for attendance. So let's continue to do that. And maybe on Friday, we can have hats and hoods before we go on spring break, so keep coming to school. We have a couple of ACE presentations going on this week. We have our big Rochambeau tournament on Wednesday. I hope you guys are ready for that. We have uh, the Drama Club is putting on their plays for K4, K5, and first grade, The Wizard of Oz. Can't wait to see that. We have, um, what else do we have going on? Lots of things. Like uh, testing, of course, is our big thing. I do want to say we've been doing a good job at recess, but I have a frisbee that was left out and not picked up after recess. So the blue group, which is third through fifth, will be out without a frisbee for a while. So let's keep continue to do a nice job out at recess, making sure that we are taking care of our equipment because you want stuff out there, right? I know you're bored without it. Um, and make sure we're staying in our designated areas as well. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited that this is the last week before spring break because I'm ready for a nice long break. How about you, Miss Amy? What do you have for us this week? All right. So I'm thinking about the gratitude attitude for this month. I know this, adults, kids, young, young and old need this. We need to focus on the positives that will help us, us to be much more thankful and have the gratitude attitude. Thinking about those around us that are working hard for you to help you, the adults in the building, the student leaders in the building, your friends that help you by encouraging you. So look around you and find someone to thank today. Be proactive by being an appreciative person. And I, I do have a, a test taking tip. Watch for absolute words like always never because those were and only those words simply by you putting that word in the test makers can make it obvious to you if something happens sometimes it's not going to be never right so watch for those absolute words if it makes sense if it's the right answer great but beware of those answers that will help you to find the best answer keep up the great work thank you to all the adults and students in the building that are working hard to make this a good testing environment and to do a good job on it. So thank you. And if you can close this out, please. Tune in tomorrow and every day for more Wildcat News. Have a great day with my Wildcats. We'll see you around the building. Five, Five more days, days till spring break. break.